Hi. My name is still Timothy Trespass, and I am still a human being. I want to speak briefly about something I read yesterday on a, on a science post about the common flower, the something or other. I can't remember the name. Uh, it looks sort of like this, but it isn't this. And what they were saying was that this amazing plant, uh, simple and beautiful as it is, changes from purple hue to uh, a blue hue when exposed to radiation. And as we can see, some of these plants are turning blue. But as they die, they turn blue. And I know that the, the pigments in the plant you know, change during the fall. And uh, as the plant goes through maturity, but as you can see, this is a, a bud with purple and blue. So depending on what the pigments are. Uh, anyway, this other plant changes from purple violet to blue when exposed to radiation, uh, atomic particle radiation. And supposedly it's so accurate a determiner that you can actually count the cells that have changed from purple to blue and the ratio will give you an idea of the amount of radiation particles that are in the area and where the radiation particles hit the plant it begins its blue change. Now I don't believe that this plant is that or that it's doing that because of this but it reminded me of this. Uh, and they were saying this thing is so accurate that they've been using it around Chernobyl and then Japan and other places as an indicator of the radi radiological health of the environment. Now I know that there are technologies that have been developed that can negate radiation, suck it up, uh, shove it into an energetic hole or whatever it does with it, uh, not just lock it into biological material that you then transfer elsewhere, but it literally erases radiation. This technology is not being released to the public, um, so whatever, but nanotechnology will change the way we live, think, eat, breathe, who we are, and what we do. And uh, without uh, proper restraints, these technologies can be used for good as well as for not so good. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you. That and the beauty of these God's creation. Why I don't feel as beautiful as this flower looks to me, I'm not quite sure. Perhaps it's a lifetime of choices. But uh, at this point, I am actively seeking God, actively seeking salvation through Christ and, and asking for understanding, wisdom, strength. And, uh, anyway, thank you for this opportunity to share. Please take a moment to look at, appreciate, and care for the other life forms that exist all around us. There's scientific information that plants are aware and conscious of emotion and intent and even actions and that they communicate with one another uh, about this in ways that we're not being informed of much. Because it's considered fringe science or whatnot, although it's well grounded in fact. Anyway, God bless you all. Thanks for watching.